Montgomery picks up the victory five and two thirds innings of five hit one run ball. Let's hear from Montgomery. Jordan, it's been a long road back in a while since you've been able to pick up a win as a starting pitcher. Can you just describe the satisfaction that you feel tonight? Uh, just kind of an accumulation of all the hard work and uh, kind of grit to get through it. Um, feel good out there and glad to get that one off the uh, get it off my shoulders, I guess. You said you felt good out there. What were you most pleased with tonight? Uh, change up command was really good. Had them in between speeds. Uh, kind of grinded there for a couple innings and kind of found a little little rhythm there in the fifth. Um, but got a, a lot of ground balls and the defense behind me played great. Got me out of a lot of jams. Thanks, Jordan. Thank you. We'll take the next question from Pete Caldera. Hey, Jordan. Hey, um, CC Sabathia has obviously been a big booster of yours and uh, just wondering, was it special for have for you know to have him here tonight for your start? And, and what's he kind of meant to you as a mentor, uh, specifically during that period when you were coming back from the surgery? Uh, yeah, he's been he's been great for me. Uh, just kind of being there as a friend, keep uh, checking in on me, uh, kind of telling me there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And especially once I got to spring and Velo was up, just kind of pumping my tires and telling me I'm unhittable. Uh, Staying aggressive and really just trusting the cutter. He's been telling me that since day one. So uh, he's just kind of been really great mentor, great friend, great guy to really follow behind and kind of learn from. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take the next question from Marley Rivera. Um, hi, Jordan. As you may have heard by now, uh, Tommy Canley is likely destined for Tommy John surgery. You are obviously, you know, you went through that 833 days and you get your first uh, win in a long time. What is your advice or what can you tell Kenley about this process? Uh, really just stay with it. Take it day by day and uh, he knows he can call me whenever. I mean, I'm a phone call away if he ever needs advice or just someone to talk to. Um, but he works hard. Once once he gives the, the okay, then he'll be right back to the grind. Jordan, was there anything specific that you would have liked to hear while you were rehabbing from Tommy John? Uh, you should have asked me that eight months <laughs> ago. Um, I'm not sure. Really, the only thing I really needed was just to be around the guys. Um, I remember being here. I did my rehab here as much as I could just so I could be around everybody because um, I've always heard how lonely it was. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember when they would go on road games, how, how lonely it was. So uh, really just having someone to talk to and kind of be there for you. Thank you, Jordan. We have a follow-up from Meredith. Hey, Jordan, you mentioned velocity, and it seemed like your velocity wasn't quite there as much as it was this spring. Is that just a matter of the weird circumstances and building yourself up completely? Uh, I threw a lot of sinkers today. My, my, my sinker is usually not going to get up there as much. I'm not spinning it as well. Um, so I, sinker's probably going to be around 93, 94, which I think it was today. So uh, it's pretty accurate. Pretty much business as usual. Yeah. Thank you. Jake will take you as a final question for Jordan. Hey, Jordan. Um, just in terms of having experienced the injury setbacks last year and, and, and not obviously the delays from this season and even this week, really, have you learned anything about patience and focus and kind of in that anticipation up, up to this uh, of this night so far? Yeah, I mean, uh, kind of just something you can't control, really. Just I've been ready. I did everything. I stayed in my routine and um, made sure I didn't get rusty or uh, not ready. I mean, can't get ready if you don't stay ready. Um, so, uh really just kind of starters world is a routine so if you stick to it then you'll you'll be right where you need to be